let's switch on again the visual helper so that we can see our layout. And throughout these tutorials, we can use the the style panel to inspect the CSS code declarations for what we are doing visually. Uh, PineGrow doesn't invent anything. There is no abstraction. Everything we do in visual tools is immediately reflected in the underlying code. So it just saves us from writing all of this stuff by hand. Okay, so now wh what we did, we have four elements and we positioned these elements with coordinates, with rows and columns. And this is not the optimal way because, for example, if we change the structure of the grid, um, then these coordinates will not be right and we will have to update all the elements, uh, update their position manually. And luckily, grid has another way of placing the elements and we can place them with named areas. So these are areas and we can give a certain area a name. For example, here we can say header and then here I just double click and make it a header as well. And then here in the style attribute, like now I selected the header and here we have the menu for positioning this element. We can go here and we can just say, oh, set named area to header. So the element is no longer placed by uh, rows and columns, but rather it is placed by using the name of the area. So here is header. So if we would move header somewhere else, then we would not have to update the position of the element itself. Okay, let's do the same for the main. And there is another way so that we don't have to type here main, main. We can just select the element and then we use the placement menu and we say set named area and we give it a name. doesn't have to be main like the element, let's say content. Okay, and this will do two things. It will create the named area in the grid and will also place the element into that area. So we do two things uh, with one operation. And we can do the same for sidebar. And also for the footer. So here it is. And this is also a nice way to see the structure of the grid. And now if we select the body, the grid element, we can see that we have another um, declaration called grid template areas that defines the named areas. So again, instead of writing this by hand, we can just use the visual CSS grid editor in PineGrow to manipulate these uh, values. And we will immediately see why named areas are very handy. So now here we can notice that actually we can optimize the structure of our grid. These two columns are exactly the same. So why not just have one column instead of two? So let's just go here and we delete the middle column. And now we just have header, content, sidebar, and footer spanning the whole width. So named areas helped us to better visualize the structure of the grid, to notice that we can optimize it. And then when we deleted the middle column, because the elements use named areas, we don't actually have to do anything else, they are already positioned where they should be.